Fluoride actually lowers IQ? It's time for Fluoride Fact Check. You might have seen claims that fluoride lowers IQ. These often come from studies that confuse correlation with causation, meaning just because two things happen together doesn't mean one causes the other. Here's a simple example. Imagine two people get attacked by sharks at the beach on the same day. Earlier that day, those two people both also happened to eat ice cream. But did the ice cream cause the shark attacks? No. Why? Because the ice cream vendor was at the beach, so lots of people happened to eat ice cream that day. But that doesn't mean the ice cream caused the shark attacks. The shark attacks and ice cream are just two things that happened, not because one caused the other. Similarly, some studies link fluoride exposure with lower IQ scores, but they don't often control for other factors like poverty, malnutrition, or pollution, which can affect brain development. Just because fluoride and lower IQ appear together in these studies doesn't mean fluoride caused the IQ drop. On top of that, just as important to mention, the fluoride levels in these IQ studies are double or more than double what we're exposed to in community water fluoridation. That's a whole nother fact check video talking about how the dose makes the poison, and that goes for anything. Even oxygen and vitamins can be toxic or poisonous at high enough doses. Bottom line, the overwhelming scientific evidence shows that fluoride at the levels used in community water fluoridation is safe, effective for preventing tooth decay, and does not lower IQ.